uh, Washington Irving. Washington Irving is one of the first truly successful American authors. He is really, really well known. So his name and a few of his short story titles are things that you should just know. I mean, it's just one of those common knowledge things that people are expected to know. Um, Washington Irving is really popular for the folk tale, which is a fictional work. So it's something that's made up. Um, and it's got this fairy tale quality to it. Like it's got some stuff that's real and it um, shows traits of the culture, but it also has some things that are completely, completely made up, couldn't happen, almost a little bit supernatural, that kind of thing. And they often include some humor and some irony and some things like that. So that's what he's best known for. So a couple of his stories that you should be aware of and um, know the titles of and that they connect with his name of Washington Irving are, first of all, um, Rip Van Winkle. And these are things that in the fall semester, I usually do a longer study of Washington Irving and I show a couple of these movies um, because I think it's important for you to have these in your... Um, in your library of things that that you know and you recognize so you can go to youtube and find these and watch these if you so desire that's where i get the videos from that i use in class um so the first one that you should know is rip van winkle that's the title of the short story rip van winkle and basically you've got this guy who falls asleep for 20 years comes back can't believe how much things have changed um and and there's there's quite a bit of humor to it, okay? Um, the second one is The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. This is where most of you know about the Headless Horseman. So at Halloween, there's often, you know, this horse with a person on it with no head, or they have a pumpkin in place of a head. Um, that comes from The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Again, something that's good to know. If you're somebody that's planning to go on to college, you're planning to take the AP class, you're planning to, um, you know, do those kinds of things, you should probably get familiar with those two stories. What we're going to read today is called The Devil and Tom Walker, and it's in your textbook, and it's basically about making a deal with the devil. So there's a little bit of when I say humor, it's it's not like, oh, that's funny. It's more like a oh, chuckle or a, a little a little quip to make you smile, that kind of thing. Um, so that's what we're going to get to. Um, a few things about Washington Irving. So he writes his first thing. Um, you know, he's born in America, obviously, because he's an American author. Uh, he writes his first set of, of stories, which is called um, The History of New York got a really long title. Um, it, it's well received. He does a good job with it. And then he realizes that he has an ancestor back in Europe that um, something about the hardware business that's been in the family needs some help. So he goes there to try to save this hardware business. While he's there, he realize, he's like 20 when he leaves. He realizes that he is not cut out for business. This isn't what he wants to do. He wants to be a writer. So while he's in Europe, I don't know why, but he stays for 17 years. He continues to write and he publishes something called The Sketchbook. And in The Sketchbook are these famous stories like The Legend of Sleepy Hollow and Rip Van Winkle and The Devil and Tom Walker. And they're kind of the precursor to the short story itself as a genre. Um, but he writes that and it does well in Europe and um, it's got good stuff to it. People enjoy it, that kind of thing. But he doesn't realize that it really took off in America. When he's about 50 years old, he comes back to New York area and finds out that hmm, he's pretty famous. Like his writings have taken off and people love what he's written. Um, they're based in like Rip Van Winkle is based in the Catskill Mountains. Um along the Hudson River. So, and, and he uses the, um, the traditions and the traits of the culture of America because that's what he knows. That's what he's been raised. And so people in America have really enjoyed his writings. And so he's pretty famous and um, yeah, ends up being one of the, the 
most success or the one of the first truly successful American authors. So I hope you enjoyed The Devil and Tom Walker. There are some words that are a little bit difficult. Um, I've picked out five words, ooh, five vocab words that I want you to look up so that you know what they are. Um, and then you're going to read and answer just a couple questions. So hope you enjoy Washington Irving.